Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Welcome back to another video tip about how to become a better graphic artist. Today's tip is going to be about keyboard shortcuts. And if you learn how to do keyboard shortcuts, you are going to become a much faster and more efficient graphic artist. You'll actually be able to, to produce more options for yourself to choose from and in the end for your client to choose from. If you're wondering about keyboard shortcuts, look at any of the other tutorials I put together on my YouTube channel, and you'll see that every time I talk about a tool, I'll actually go up to the toolbar to physically show you where it is, and to the right of it, it'll say what the keyboard shortcut is, and then I'll reiterate it so you know and you learn it. Not every tool has a keyboard shortcut, but I guess Adobe has figured out and determined uh, what are the most used tools and the most important, and uh, those are the ones with the shortcuts on them. Okay, so this wonderful thing right here is called a keyboard. This is my iMac keyboard. It's very tiny. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes. And don't be intimidated if you have a PC because I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the only difference is you have the command or the Apple button right here. I believe on a PC, uh, like say you're doing a copy and paste, you would do command C and command V to paste. Um, I believe on a PC, it's control. C and control V instead of command. Um, I use a, a PC keyboard from time to time and uh, it's it's all the same stuff. It's all the same keyboard commands. Adobe is consistent. They keep the continuity between all the programs. That's what's so, so great about it. Now I'm going to make a shout out to a company called kbcovers.com and this is a cover that you can actually put over your keyboard and if you can look at it you're going to notice that there's all types of keyboard shortcuts. Now, when I was learning Final Cut Pro X, which is a, uh, a video software um, for green screening, I purchased this because it was a whole new world for me. Uh, it was a little intimidating, all the new tools and all the new options. So I purchased this and I watched tutorials on the internet to learn about the keyboard shortcuts. Basically, you lay it over the keyboard and it has bevels in it, so it actually lays perfectly over the keys without really sliding off. And... It's a very thin material, and it's it, it takes some getting used to, but uh, it's pretty cool because it's one of those things where you, you you use it for a little bit, and then you don't need to use it anymore. Personally, I don't use Final Cut X anymore much, but even when I do, I don't use this cover anymore. And the greatest part about it is, like I said, it gets engraved in your brain. Think about it as if you're playing a video game. You know, you're playing an Xbox, and somebody goes, oh my god, that was such a great move. How did you do it? Well... Most likely, you're not going to remember how you did it unless you have that controller in your hand. You've done it a thousand times, but it's it's you, you just can't remember it. That's exactly how it is with this stuff. Let's jump into Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to show you what I believe are you know about maybe 20 or under of the best, of the most basics that you need to learn. And I'm also going to put these on my web blog, which is graphicdesignertips.com. There'll be a link right under this video to go directly to the page. You'll be able to download a PDF print it out if you like and put it right next to your computer so every time you look at it you'll know what these important ones that you need to memorize you need to memorize all right it's gonna be very important for you so okay so now we're in adobe illustrator these keyboard commands are going to apply to pretty much any adobe program so across the board this is a graphic that i did for uh, a green screen series that i have every week i create a new fictitious logo for you to learn from in adobe illustrator and uh, I teach you new tools in each of them. So definitely if you haven't seen that series yet and you're just jumping onto this video, jump into that and subscribe and you'll see these every Sunday night. Uh, I put them out weekly. So um, I'm just gonna go uh, real quick through a couple of things that I, I like to do that are basic uh, key keyboard commands that I find that I'm using more often than, than anything. Um, say I wanna move this stuff to the, to the middle of my keyboard. Um, I could either come over here and click the little arrow up to do that, or you can hit spacebar on your keyboard and move things around. This is good for when you're running out of space on your on your canvas um, or visual space, and you want to move it over so I can copy myself over and I have more room. You know, keep moving the the keyboard over. Now, the thing I just did was I copied myself over, and the way that you do that, which is another very important one, is it's the option button. You got to hold the option button down on your keyboard. You click the element you want to move and you move it over. You move it as many times as you want. 
Now, that's a little crazy, so we're going to use our next keyboard command, which is the undo button. And that is command Z. And the more times you hit it, the more times you're going to go backwards. Um, you can go back a specific amount. I'm not sure how many. I mean, at least 30 steps. But um, the cool thing is, is you can go backwards and you can also go forwards by redoing. And the way that you do that is you do a redo, which is shift command Z instead of command Z. Um, the cool thing about that is you can go back, say, 20 steps and, you know, copy an element that you had and maybe you, you know, you changed in, 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 in the next 20 steps. And then you can redo everything, get back to where you were and paste what you copied 20 steps ago, if that makes any sense to what I just said. But um, the next one I'm going to show you is the most, well, not most important, but the most important basic tools are the selection and the direct. To go between them, you're going to hit V for direct and A, no, no V for uh, um, the normal selection and A for the direct selection. Uh, I'm not going to go over what both of those do, but just so you know, they're very important. The next item you want to know about is hitting the letter P for pen on your keyboard. And now we have our pen here and we can make a nice little cool graphic just like that. That's our pen tool. Um, we're going to hit the letter T for type and we're going to type in a word. And the way you get out of this word is you can't just, I can't click myself. If you see, I can't click any of these elements. I'm still in the type tool. You want to hit the escape button. That gets you out of the actual word. It, what it, that just did was it, it made that word a whole word and you're not in an editable type anymore. Gradients. Gradients are fun. All right. The way that you do them is you click on this little element here. And since we have a gradient over here already, we're going to, uh, well, first we're going to sample it with the eyedropper, which is, I love to use this tool. Um, we're going to hit the letter I and I can either sample this great, I could sample this gradient here or I could sample this gradient here. And then we're going to hit the letter G on our keyboard to get to our, our gradient tool. And I'm jumping into another tool at the same moment. This is three tools at one time. But if you look over here, we have our fill and our stroke. And say I want to do the stroke on the gradient, or the gradient on the stroke. I would I'd be messing with this one. But in this case, I want to use the one with the, the fill. So we're going to hit the letter X. It toggles between the two. See? Watch. I'm going to hit X, X. All right, hit X one more time and we get to the fill. Now that I'm in the fill, I hit G again, all right, for my gradient tool. And now I can mess with my gradient. Copying and pasting, big, big thing you need to know. Uh, probably one of the more important than anything. Uh, if you hit Command C uh, and you hit Command V, you're going to notice it kind of pastes it wherever the heck it wants. Um, say you want to paste directly on top or you want to paste directly behind. Um, the way that you do that is you click your element, you hit command C, and then if you want it in front, you just hit command F for front or command B for back. So I'm going to paste this in front and I'm going to click off. And if I grab this and move it, you're going to notice it was right behind it the whole time. So that's how I did this word dreamy donuts. I actually made three layers um, boom, 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 right on top of each other and just added different uh, weights to uh, the strokes with different colors. Locking elements, very important. Um, I'm going to come to my direct selection by hitting the letter A. I'm going to select this word, this letter R. Okay, just that letter. I'm going to come up to object lock selection or command two. And now that's locked. Now I can select everything else on my canvas by hitting either doing the marquee like I just did or hitting the uh, command A for all. I'm going to hit delete and everything's going to delete but that R. And the way that you unlock that R, because I cannot select this no matter what I do, you have to hit option, uh, command option and then the number two. And you're going to see now it's editable again. So we're going to back up by hitting command Z. Command Z a couple times. Command Z, 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 Z. I went too far, so I'm going to go shift command Z to go forward to where I was. And just so you know, if you if you undo a certain amount of time, say you undo 10 times and you want to you know come back to where you were and redo 10 times. When you're in that undo stage, 10 steps back and you do something to change your canvas, you're screwed. You can't go back and you can't go forward anymore. You just went you, you, you kind of like created like a. a like a, a wormhole. You're like stuck on a new time, uh, you know, thing. So 
Don't do that at all. Uh, zooming in and out, real simple. Uh, you want to hold the space bar. You want to hold uh, command, and now you're going to get your little uh, I, I, uh, your magnifying glass, and you can either click or you can make a marquee and select an area. Um, I'm too zoomed in right now, so what I want to do is I, while I have these two down, I want to hit the option button. Option is going to, you see it changes to that negative. There you go, and we're going to zoom out. Zoom in a little bit more. Uh, if you're like all of your canvas, say you're out here and you just don't want to keep clicking uh, you, to get it back to where you want, you can hit Command Zero and it's going to pull it right to the middle. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Rulers and guides. Uh, Command R is going to bring your rulers up. Now you can pull out guides to you know line up your elements. And after a while, you might have a lot of guides and it might be kind of annoying. So what you want to do is you want to hit Command colon so semicolon and by hitting that on and off it's going to turn them on and off the last thing i want to show you is that i use a, a lot of um is also with the i use this a lot with locking and unlocking elements is putting elements on top of each other so and sending to behind so basically if i put this element over the picture of myself i want to now put that behind me so the way that i do that is i hit uh shift command open bracket to send behind and shift command close bracket to bring back up and the way that you can find those is, is in the arrange area up here bring to front send to back send backward bring forward okay so you get the a whole drift of, of what I'm trying to stress here those are a lot of the basics like I said you master those you're gonna master design and not that you're ever gonna master it but you're gonna be a lot better off than you were uh, you're going to get stuff out quicker. You're going to get ideas. You're going to have more ideas on your canvas in the end. I guarantee it. If you're designing a logo, like when I design a logo, I may be submitting three ideas, but I may have over a hundred ideas all throughout the canvas because I'll do an element on something. Oh, I really like this and I'll copy it over and I'll save it for later. Or, you know, I'll, I'll undo things and I'll redo and I'll send. I mean, it's just so many things that you can do with keyboard shortcuts. You're not constantly looking down clicking, moving your head around, your focus on the screen, your hand is on your keyboard. One thing I want to show you is, and this is just me, but I will say that my hand, unless I got an itch on the back of my head or I'm drinking a coffee, is my hand is on the keyboard right next to it. It's planted here, uh, my left hand. I'm a righty on a mouse, and I keep my hand there because I'm constantly using it. It's, it's, it's a part of my design. It's, uh, it's not just the whole clicking aspect and moving. You need that, that element right there. On my blog, graphicdesignertips.com, I have created a blog post that where you can download a PDF of all these keyboard commands and keep them right next to your computer. I've also put a link to that page right under this video. So all you got to do is click it, and it's going to go straight to that page. So what I want to hear from you guys is and girls uh, are any keyboard shortcuts that make your life as as designer easier. Um, there may be certain ones that you know other people need to hear about. Trust me, I know when the, this video is over, I'm going to realize a few that I may have missed. But uh, like I said, these are the basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you out. That's the whole goal of this video, to help you out through my own experiences. And uh, I'd love to hear yours also. Again, um, subscribe to my channel, definitely, because every time I put a video out, you'll get it right in your email, if that's how your settings are. Uh, look us up on Twitter, Facebook. And uh, definitely like this video if you felt that it was helpful, because if you like this video, it helps it get out there more. So that's it, everybody. I'm Steve Looney from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Have an awesome night. Peace.